Hey guys, welcome to another Lunch Time Review. Today I'm trying one of these Amy's. Um, this one is the vegetable pie in a pocket sandwich. It's like a hot pocket kind of. Um, made with organic vegetables and grains. It is dairy free. Um, five ounces or 142 grams, so it's a smaller meal. Um, we bought these at Meyer. They were $2.99. And it says here, um, here in a handy to hold sandwich is Amy's original pot pie filling and organic vegetables and tofu simmered in the same deliciously flavored sauce that makes the pot pie so popular. Um, is it, it is dairy free and tastes great. Right. So, calorie information for it. It's 290 calories for the, the whole thing. There's your other info for you. And I'll see the directions are going to be on the other side. That's right here. So, there's the ingredients. Conventional or toaster oven, you can do it in a conventional or toaster oven. Of course, we're not going to do that, but you can if you want to. So in the microwave, we're going to remove the overwrap, place the pocket sandwich on a microwave-safe plate, cook for one minute, seam side down, flip, and cook for one more minute, and let it sit for a minute. So seam side down for a minute, flip it over, another minute. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. So I'm assuming it's going to have a plastic bag. So there it is. Kind of looks like a picture strudel or um, pop tart or something, doesn't it? So I'm going to take it out of the plastic bag, put it on a paper plate, probably. Um, I might put a piece of parchment paper under it just so it won't stick, but, um, but that's just what I'm going to do. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, right, so here it is the other microwave. And um, like I said, I always put it on a piece of parchment. It just keeps from sticking if I can. Um, I got a knife. I'm going to cut it in half. We're in here live on camera. Let's see how tough it is. Um, not hard or crunchy, that's for sure. I wish it was probably a little crunchier. Here's the inside. Boy, you don't get much. I no, mean, there's not much of anything in there. A little bit more on that side. So I'm going to let this uh, cool off a minute, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so I gave it a little time to cool off. I'm going to take a bite of that one side that said looked a little fuller than the other one. Came out of the other end. It fell out. Not bad flavor. Um, tastes like it has potatoes. It does come out the uh, the other side though, because the seam's not sealed up really well. I get mostly just um, a little bit of an onion flavor. And most of the other vegetables are, I mean, they're kind of just a mix together. It kind of tastes like a mixture of, of vegetables. Um, the sauce, what they would be, uh, what I consider the pot pie sauce, it's kind of plain and bland. And the crust itself is okay. It really needs to crisp up some. And had in the oven, it would crisp up. You know, a toaster oven or oven, you're going to get a crispy um, outside on your crust. Microwaving it. It's just okay. I mean, most of the part, I know it's not technically pot pie. It's a vegetable pie, but they did say it, they use their pot pie fillings and stuff. To make a really good pot pie, you have to have that crisp uh, crust. And this is missing that flavor and that texture. So this is, I mean, it's not bad by any means. It's definitely not um, something I would like, oh, I'm not going to eat any more of this thing. Um, it's just not great either. It's just, it's just okay. So I'm gonna give it a three out of five. It's uh, the flavors are really muted. I'm surprised the flavors are not better. The flavors are not more elevated. They're kind of they're kind of plain. So uh, even this the seasonings and the spices and stuff could be like bumped up a couple levels. So I think it's okay, but it is kind of boring. So hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.